Hello everyone. I'm Ambe Singh and today I'm with my co-speaker Myers for the episode 15 of the Power Pages Quick Tip series. In this episode, we will explore how to disable the anonymous access in the Power Pages. Please note that this feature is in the preview at the time of recording of this episode, so these are not meant for the production use. Use governance control to disable the anonymous access as anonymous access is a thread with the help of this feature and means or the makers prohibits unauthenticated user from accessing the data was data displayed on the website in your tenant that prevent accidental exposure of the sensitive data. I would like to break the entire process into three prospect. So we have something to do by the admin. We have an admin experience or some set of the task admin has to perform. Then we have a maker experience that how maker can see after those changes or those configuration has been done by the admin and from the end user experience that how end user will see this or the system. Please note whenever you make any changes, affected portal will restart once while unauthenticated user will be preventing from viewing Dataverse data. When the setting is enabled, then users can still write to the Dataverse so it block you to read the data, but you can still write the data back to the data was. This is helpful in the use case where user wish to submit anonymous feedback in example. Now I would like to request Marius to show us with a live demonstration. So over to you, Marius. Perfect, then I will take over the screen. This is admin power platform, Microsoft.com. We are under resources, power pages sites. And here at the top of the grid, you see governance controls, disable anonymous access, and then you can select none, all, and or some sites or all but these sites. And I've chosen specific sites here and site two, which will be what we are exploring. Notice also we will talk about uh, site visibility in one of the next episodes but this site is currently public. So it's disabled for anonymous access, but it's public. Then from the maker experience, let's go through here also with the new security tab, then for table permissions, for example, if I create a new table permission and I want to add the roles, you see here anonymous users are grayed out. So I cannot assign any permissions to anonymous users. And for any existing permission, uh, it would be disabled also. That's what we just saw in the, in the presentation with the um, red exclamation uh, for an existing table permission. So, and then that's, one more thing I'd like to show you. So I just said site visibility, this site is public. Let's access this site. And even though this uh, anonymous access is disabled, I'm still able to see the site even though I'm not signed in. And that's part of the story here. Yes, the site is still accessible. It's just not, you can just not access the, the data of Dataverse behind it. So you can still have a landing page here with maybe some news articles, but you would have to configure those news articles directly to the homepage and you cannot do like a query to a Dataverse table which grabs the latest news and displays them yep. here because that would be Dataverse access. So everything is blocked in that regard. And I guess that's all the three experiences you just mentioned now detailed and showed and back over to you. Thank you, Marius, for the wonderful demo and explaining like how people can reach out to the security tab, new brand tab, and then uh, perform the actions. Stay tuned to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. You can share the videos with your friends and the colleagues who are having the same skill set like you or want a deep dive in the power pages. We will be coming up with a more interesting tips, knowledge sharing, and the lesson learning around the power pages. Till that, have a nice time and happy learning. Thank you.